Sherman. Now that march just wrapped up not too long ago at the Duncan Plaza and organizers tell me the only way to fully grow is by becoming the change they seek. A lot of these young people are scared and they're, they're, they're also afraid to say that they need help. And one of the things that we can do with that is to put our arms around them and get them to go another way. Father's Day, hundreds of men took to the streets uptown for a march in solidarity as a way of encouraging the black community to come together as one in fighting racism and police brutality among the African-American community. We're expecting a thousand brothers out here and I'm sure we don't all know each other. And again, keeping along with the theme of passing the baton, that we all find someone that we don't know that we can help. Have a good time and social distance and just show that we are visible and we are alive and nobody's stepping on our neck anymore in New Orleans. You heard me? So men came from all over just to partake in what they called a history in the making. They have a me mo movement, they have a we too movement, but what about a us too movement? So a lot of black men don't really understand the, pro the process of sacrifice and service in their community. So we need to show that solidarity. We talk about black men helping other black men be a reflection of themselves. With the crime rate rising in a city known for hospitality and love, leaders say to tackle the crime issue, we first need to tackle the injustice issue. Education, a non-living wage, poor health care, poor housing. And so uh, when you create an environment that is hostile to a citizen, that citizen will respond in any way they can to survive. And that's why it's important that we not only stand, but truly address this issue once and for all. Now, organizers say this is just one of many events scheduled to take place, including a youth march, which is set for June 26th. For now, live in the CBD, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.